Thanks for that introduction, John. That was really sweet. That was like, holy oh, shit. And and it made it reminded me of this thing. Whenever anybody talks about that song making them happy, I'm like, thank you, because I wrote it in a time when I was so incredibly sad that the only thing that would save me was that song. And it's amazing that that works for everybody. And I know that a lot of people who are sensitive, like me, and who get really, really sad, have been having a really hard week because um, Robin Williams punked out on us. And um, I, I really think what he did was reprehensible, but I forgive him all the same because I know what he's going through. And I just feel like so many other artists, probably people in this room, completely understand that urge. And I want all of you who don't understand it to understand that when we make beautiful things for you, we do it because we're trying to save the world. Because we see the world going to hell and we're like, ah, why, like, why am I here? This is terrible. Why are people so stupid? Why is this all happening? And the only thing we can do is make a beautiful song or a beautiful painting or an incredibly hilarious film, you know? And, uh, and he did th those things for you because he was trying to save himself and, and save you all. And I'm really sad that he had a bad day and, and wasn't able to get out of it, you know? We all have bad days. Um, this, I'm gonna try to remember all the words of this song. It's a little bit tricky, but uh, John's rant reminded me of, <laughs> of this song. So this is de dedicated to the Dirty Balloon Man. I don't want any more. Dress me up in plastic and my skin is getting sore. I am wanking in that corner waiting for the nuclear war. Hoarding all the garbage and it's filling up my car. My suffering is meaningless and I'm stinking like the tar. It smothers all the grass and lets me drive you to the bar. And if you want to handle me, just tell me who you are. I'm swallowing more estrogen so you won't pregnate me With swarming, swarming little beasties sniveling and mean Eat your oily cereal and keep your nostrils clean Oh, chemicals are coming for you, keeping you alive Bees are up and vomiting outside their old beehive Swarming, swarming, little beasties sniveling and weak. The strong are taking everything and stamping on the meek. Dollywood and I realized by taking a tour of her tour bus what a hard life she really has you know she's hiding so much
of the best things about Dollywood is that they have a little place called Doggywood, where you can you can bring your dog and they feed your dog meals with a little uh, on a on like a little tray with a little doggy fork and spoon, and they pamper your dog while you go to Dollywood and ride the log flume. So this song is about being insanely depressed and then finding solace through something as simple as walking your dog on the sidewalk. The pine cone told me what to do and I obeyed. Remind Apollo of the boaster whom he flayed. I asked the butcher if he ever felt dismay. Counting organs in the body when the flesh is stripped away without a mind. Without a body or a mind. Without a mind. Without a body or a numb and useless mind. Yes, I'm sick, I can't get up, I try and try. I wipe the crusted out mascara from my eye. I hear the songs that people sing before they die. There is a world above the blankets that are blocking out the sky without a mind. And the curves where skulls have cracked and teeth have been realigned. Old trees where multitudes of pissing dogs encounter the sublime without a mind. Without a body or a mind. Without a mind. Without a body or a numb and useless mind. Without a mind. song that I co-wrote with uh, Sam James from The Wows and also with Karen Dalton. <laughs> what is her real name? 
I'm so tired of hearing Eskimo ask so me. Am I related? It's not her real name, Dalton. I think that it's probably not her real name because she got married young and had kids, and then she took the kids uh, when she came to New York to be a musician. And yeah, she didn't legally have custody of her children. So Karen Dalton was friends with Bob Dylan and all sorts of what I don't know. He was like her favorite singer, right? Yeah. Amazing. She died in relative obscurity, but recently a lot of people have been rediscovering her music, which is which is awesome. Yeah. Her albums are definitely worth listening to. They're amazing. And she left a bunch of notebooks behind and her family sent them to a bunch of musicians. I was included in this, I was so honored. And uh, they let me write a song with her lyrics. So the, the words are Karen Dalton's and the melody is mine and Sam's.
songs with Phoebe? <laughs> you have yes. time to perform our songs with Phoebe. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. a little bit of reverb on that mic too. <laughs> this song is for all the all the sad people and all the happy people. <laughs>
Just a donation. Please get some money ready. Put your hands again one more time for Larkin Grimm. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank you. Yeah. I found out that Phoebe and I are related when I did research on Ancestry.com. And it all gets crazy in this time. It's like early colonial era, and like my ancestors, you know, were uh, like being persecuted during the um, witch trials in Salem. And I bet her ancestors were there too. I don't know. We have to figure it all out. What happened? Yeah, it's gonna take some time. We know that our that our ancestors came over basically on the same boat or two boats.
I don't know if you guys can <laughs> It's like, if I can see the resemblance. I don't know if you guys ever, ever when, you know, it's like. I can feel the resemblance. There's something. <laughs> there's something there that like, we're neither one of us like 100% proud of. But you know, <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> this is a sing along, and it goes Shibi do, 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 ah, Shibi do, 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 ah, Shibi do.
This is gonna be our last song. It's not for the faint of heart.
that's an old, old song of mine that I had never performed live, and Phoebe came up to me and insisted that I do it, and I was like, I will not be able to do this without you helping me. Yeah! <laughs> and that's how we started playing the